was all on YouTube. We're doing that now, apparently. I do that stuff, don't I? Thanks. Bonjour, no YouTube. Jamie, something or nothing. Me, Nathan, also from something or nothing. That's a mighty big pack you got on there, Nathan. What are you up to? Uh, just doing a, you know, short afternoon stroll on Day the moors. Day hike, yep. Yeah. Overpacked again, didn't I? What are we doing, Trevor? We're only doing a wild camp. Doing a wild camp? Nathan doing a wild camp, imagine that. Imagine the hilarity. We can't even remember the last time he came on a wild camp. That's how long ago it was. Probably two years ago, a good two years ago. At least. But here he is. He's going to go out in the lantern tonight, isn't he? Yeah, after a lot of people have suggested that I might enjoy camping a little bit more if I actually took some creature comforts. Tent. Like a ground sheet. Borrowed your tent and I. Yeah. Got the land. Summer tent. Yeah. <laughs> so not yeah, not entirely full bore into <laughs> creature comforts, but think you like the land and show me how to put it up, hopefully. Or not. It's like a very nice cross between a tent and a tarp, isn't it? Got my new roll pad, my uh, Neo Air X Lite. See what we make of it, isn't it? Yeah. We're going up to Great Links Tour. Have a camp up there. Oh, a bit windy, isn't it? It wasn't meant to be so windy. I always say that. <laughs> so maybe Great Links is going to be a bit blustery. Who knows? Who knows? So we're going to have a little bit of a stroll. I've got some gear to test. I've got my sleeping bag and my new roll mat. Nath, you got new roll mat, and I've got my new fleece lined trousers that are on. They're uh, <laughs> hell of a cozy. Is that the make? Yes. Hell of a cozy. Yeah, fleece line, scratch resistant, water resistant and windproof. Could have done with windproof trousers when I shared a tent with you now. <laughs> but unfortunately they're breathable. <laughs> so... So this is where we came when Nave came back for his first walk. We sort of come up between Brat Tour and Arms Tour, around the side of Great Links, and then we're going to come back up via the Dunagoats because it looks more of a steady climb than going right up that stony face like we did last time. Depending on how we're looking for time, we might even have a look at Bleak House Ruins where we've done our first Christmas camp. It's one of those places we camped where I've been back and I can't believe we managed to camp there. I think it'll be quite interesting for Nate to see it. Still walking up the first hill and the uh pack somewhere in the late teens. It's really letting me know it's there, hindering my normal march. Rather than just going, well, let's take a little bit more weight to add creature comfort. I've uh, also gone, oh, and while we're at it, let's slap an extra four kilos of camera equipment to the bag as well, which might not have been the best decision. That is a broken zip on my new walking trousers. I only just got to the top, nearing the top of the first descent. And they've broken. What a piece of shit. There you go. It's my honest review. Don't buy these trousers. Oh, you were fing work now, weren't you? Now the camera's on you. But we seen it, didn't we? We seen it broken. You know, it is potential that it's a one-off, but given that they were only £30 and everything they claimed to do, rip resistant, wind resistant, water resistant, and fleece lined, ah oh shit, we've run out of technology and funding for zips. Yeah, we're just rounding the corner now, and then we'll be at Bleak House Ruins. Great links up in the background here. But the unmistakable great links. Love it. Here we are now. Bleak House Ruins come into view. Oh, it's getting dark really quick actually. We've got an hour till sunset. Plenty of time, surely. Uh, da, da, 
Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Where would you pitch a tent here? Where did we camp? <laughs> Is this it? I think that's it, yeah. Bloody hell. No wonder we've shat ourselves all night, was it? <laughs> I think you was here, was it? No, you, you was there. I was here. I was off the edge of this hill. I'd, I'd brought this hill into my tarp, which made my tarp really low to the ground. But the thing is, it's like we're surrounded by hills and stuff everywhere to break the wind. How was it so windy? <laughs> it's like a little wind tunnel. It's very um, Lord of the Ringsy, isn't it? It's like Lord of Lord the Ringsy Narnia y. Yeah, and this is like the slab where they lay uh, Aslan. Narnia. It is the same slab. Very same Fact slab. for you there. It's filmed here. Hell of a bleak for the ruins of a house. No, off. Set up camp, Shinnis. Well, right here. Yeah. <laughs> we got a hill to climb first. Oh, good. Bog. All right. That's a path, eh? Follow it this way and then round the outside. Round the outside. Or we just... <laughs> Something or nothing, isn't it? There she is. Great Lynx. What a beaut. Never camped on it, so it's a bit windy. <laughs> to be stuck right up on the top of Great Links, but I'm sure we can find some sort of shelter around there. This is uh, Deadfall Outdoors, Carl from Deadfall Outdoors. We speak a lot and never, no, never met, no. have we? How's it going, all right? That's good. You hey, look, he's here. It's a nice little tarp set up, isn't it? Isn't that cosy in there? Yeah, all right, mate, yeah. yeah. Right, we had a bit of a quick chat with Carl, but uh, he seems to have the best spot up at Great Link, so we're just down the hill a little bit, and we've come behind this mound here. It's about as good as we're going to get for the wind, isn't it, here? So I'm going to go somewhere here, he's going to go somewhere there. What I want to do is try and find a bit of a dip here so that I can rest in it and not sag away. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So I've given Nathan the lantern. I did send him a link to a video that, to how to put it up, but he wants to go blind. So uh, maybe I'll talk him through a few bits if he get stuck but uh, we see how he gets on Got the nature hike up. Nafe's. I said he should have watched the video. I don't think it looks too bad. <laughs> Which angle looks better from? <laughs> we'll have a look at it, see if we can tinker about with it. Yeah, I'd say you want to go a little bit higher with a peg, the pole. This one here wants to come out. See, People will say that I'm setting it up wrong, but I went step by step yesterday in the garden just to make sure everything was there for Nate. And these elastic bits down here, 
stay it not long enough you have to use two pegs that will not reach the external peg and that's what we're meant to peg into you know share the peg and that's where it goes wrong so i think we need to pull this one out further and we'll just separate peg it separately i think i bought spare pegs just for that it don't look too bad inside mate it's taut inside is it yeah oh yeah just all my rubbish in here last time oh, that is nice and tight inside well that's looking better isn't it knife oh isn't it looking better mate? possibly you got a bit of a sag in the middle maybe you can pull one side tight i've been fussy you've seen what i've slept before mate i can move that around it is in the reinforcing but... got your pumpy bag your pump sack you can use that as a dry sack as well can't you apparently so yeah mm, that was shit no it tends to pop <laughs> off when it's pretty much done that's good now i'm putting my sleeping bag on top of a new roll mat which isn't going to deflate if my sleeping mat deflates on night one that'll be me over for camping all over again oh There we have it. Roll mat inflated, sleeping bags out. Nice the tent. Tents up. Gonna put me a warm jacket on now. <coughs> right. I am gonna crack into another one of these protein bars. I'll catch you guys in a bit. So I've got my roll mat, the psychology. I had to inflate it. I haven't I bought a sack but it hasn't turned up yet. The inflated sack that everyone commented to say I should use. I tried to borrow a knife because he's got one with his, but it didn't fit. It was like docking. We had a docking <laughs> issue. I got the old Neo Air X light set up, Trev. Yeah. And do you know what? I'm led on it now. And it feels like I'm floating on air, bruv. That's good, mate. You happy? Sorry, mate. That was meant to be a joke. <laughs> Have I missed it? It's an air mattress, isn't it? Oh, right. But um, you are lying on air. <laughs> it's not like uh, insulated in there, then. No, there's just like little bits of tin foil in there, which is why they added an extra hundred pounds to the price tag. <laughs> Got my new sleeping bag. Fluff him up a bit. I've got my firm rest, ridge rest underneath, a bit of extra insulation. See him? And I put my trackology on the top. Oh, and I've got a new burner to use, and I? It's all new stuff today. Got my little budget jet boil rip off. Oi, oi! I've got my job's worth. So I'm going to make a cup, a cup of coffee in a minute, get that boiling. Civilization, I'll stay right here. I'm struggling here to get this stand on to the. It's a fucking boy, isn't it? It just doesn't seem to want to fit the tin properly. Knife's cooking away. Here I am. Lolling around, listening to Trev over there, struggling with his new stove, and uh, I'm not even ready to put my uh, water in my mug. Right, it's on there. I see. You have to twi you twist them on. That's it. A selection of cheeses and some oat crackers. That's boiling. Oh. oh my god, I'm so out of practice with this. What I was struggling with there, I hadn't opened the handles on my mug. And I was holding the mug and I was burning my fingers, wasn't I? So gas is on, got my little button lit. Isn't that amazing balls? In the middle. 
I am actually shocked at the difference in comfort of being in a tent in comparison to being in my tarp. There's no breeze in you. And this mat, this mat is just incredible. It moves and gives with your body as you lie on it. It's uh, <laughs> warm. What are you laughing at? My lid just fell off. <laughs> Pouring through my lid and <laughs> How is your new stove working out? Is it is it operator error or is it just a cheap stove? You know me, Nate. It's hard to tell <laughs> because it could be an expensive stove and you still have the same problems. Yeah. You're a calamity, aren't you? I've just had a bit of an issue here with the jobs worth. It is. I had it boiling, I had the vestibule shut and then it just toppled over but when it went it just went up <laughs> in flames and all my doors were shut and I just literally grabbed it, threw it out um, under the door away from my tent. It panicked me because I'm in a white tent and all I seen was this brilliant bright orange glow whilst he was shouting fuck fuck fuck. I've got it set up now it's level on a level ground I've got it a bit further out so I've got my vestibule open so I'm cooking myself some uh, one of my foil bag stews homemade stews I've uh, given one to Nath I've got a pouch of Trev's stew and I've got my long spork and it's quite a long sachet so that that turned out nice I managed to find a way to get the jet boil to simmer for 20 minutes that's simmering away there's food in there, it's bubbling, the flame's on. It Don't get me wrong, it's a fiddly bastard to find it and get it there, but it can be done. Hopefully, once he's eating it, he'll be like, oh no, this is better than a boil in the bag, because at the moment he's moaning about how impractical it is, but there you go, it's naif. So this should be warm right the way through. I mean, I can't, can't even hold the pouch right now. But I thought, oh, I'm taking a stew. I'd take one for Naif as well, he might like that. So, you live and learn. Yeah, it's piping hot all the way through. Yeah. And the, job, the opening salvo was a big chunk of beef. Oh yeah, lovely mate, like pulled pork, but beefy. Oh, I've got mine now. Oh, I do love a stew. I don't know what's more satisfying, the stew or having the correct spoon to get to the bottom of the bag. <laughs> mm. Bottom this pit of stew here. I might have to drink the last of it. Right, well I'm going to close my door now because I can. Try and keep some eating. While I'm eating. See you directly. Trev, I'm not going to lie, that's banging stew. Right, it's gone 11. I've been listening to an audio book just lying here. I say just lying here. I'm on a slight, ever such a slight slope. It's just enough to keep me f***ing spilling down that end. It's frustrating. I'm back with the inflatable mats again, aren't I? So I, I need to stick something on here. I was going to bring some sort of sleeping bag, liner or something, to tuck everything together, keep it all together. Forgot about that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll shove it all up there. By the time I get on it, it's all moved again. It's going to be a fun night. <laughs> Morning YouTube. You might be surprised to learn that I actually had a really comfortable night's sleep. I think I've had about six or seven hours sleep. That's unheard of for me in a tent or while camping. So, um, I think the roll mat's been a good success. It's uh, quarter to six. I'm quite excited about um, the sun coming up in about an hour's time. And, uh, I'm hanging for a Dame Judy Dench and uh, I thought I might have a coffee, put a jacket on 
and get out and start seeing what the weather might be like and seeing if there's a an early morning photo to be taken. What is the time, Nave? Hey? What is the time? Fantastic. What is it? Yeah. Ungodly, mate. It's ungodly. Well, I've had a good night's sleep. This is what time I normally get up. I know, it's weekend. Hey? It's the weekend. I know. This is what time I normally get up. Oh, I do. I do lions on the weekend. Well, Nafe's up. He's chipper. He's chipper over there. Can you hear him? Nafe, that new chipper. Hey? That new f***ing chipper over there. Well, you're not used to me getting a good night's sleep while camping, are you? No. You're starting to regret it now, aren't you? <laughs> What's happened? He's had a good night. I've had a good night. It took a little while to get to a position where I wasn't f***ing slip sliding away like Paul Simon all night. But um, once I found it, I didn't move. And uh, yeah, I slept really well. Stayed on my mat. Stayed in my sleeping bag. <sighs> It was lovely and warm. The uh, mat on top of the thermal vest, I will put some silicon beads on to the mat to keep it in one place and try and pitch on a level plane one day. That'll be nice. Apart from that, the little thermal vest and this has kept the heat from escaping. It hasn't been cold beneath me. It's been lovely and warm. Right, I'm going to sort of semi-stir, semi-lie around. There's no rush, is there? No rush. What's happened, Nate? What's happened? Well, something that doesn't normally affect you in a tarp, if I'm honest. My jet boil, I've just put water in it and then it's just gone beep, into my uh, tent. And now the fly sheet's covered in water. The ground sheet, sorry. Fortunately, it's the morning and it's not night time. Yeah, and I'm in not... such a good mood, it's not really going to affect me. <laughs> That's it, you were all expecting me to go mental, weren't you? It's not happening. Not today. Morning. So I'm up just beneath Great Lynx Tour. Waiting for the sun to come up, Nafe's up. Up on Great Links Tour, he's doing some photography. He wants to get some sunrise shots. Maybe a bit cloudy for some really nice sunrise shots, but we soon tell. Nath's very excitable this morning. It's euphoric. It's, I've never seen Nath like it. I think I prefer the old Nath. <laughs> Only joking. That's good. He's really enjoyed himself. I've selected a composition. It's way out, looking at this prominent tour in the foreground. We've got some separation, we've got some nice pink coming in the background. Um, hoping I might be able to draw some of that out in post. But also, I don't know if you can see, but there's this line in the rocks just in front of the camera. Because it's such a wide angle, it is picking it up a little bit and it's sort of acting as a bit of a leading line leading into the image. It's not a wonderfully strong composition, but something to tinker with. And you know, if you don't get out and use these things in practice, you're never going to get any better, are you? Yeah, uh, we had a bit of a race here and uh, I'm still going Nate, aren't I? Smashed it, didn't I? Yeah, the jet boil was quicker. Yeah. That's an extra 75 pounds worth of speed. It looks a handsome looking cook set though, isn't it? It's alright, it's a bit rattly. The feet don't go on as nice as I'd like. They're on now, but it's a bit it's not like the jet boy or the OEX one to clip on the cans, you know. But we're getting there now, getting up to a rolling boil now, boy. 
over a minute later. Well, I'm just I'm drinking mine now. <laughs> I guess um I guess the thing with a jet boil is, is yeah it's more expensive, but you're paying for a better grade of engineering, aren't you? Like finer tolerances, things fit and work as they're supposed to. Yeah. But on the flip side of that, I have to concede and agree with you ultimately that it is just an expensive kettle. I thought I'd try this thing. I wouldn't say it's crap, I'd say it's ideal really, if you don't want to spend money on a jet ball, that's going to do the same trick. Just make sure it's level, but you know, so you don't fall over and have some fiery um, <laughs> encounters. But then Nafe's fell over, it just wasn't lit. Would the same thing have happened to a jet ball? How you doing all right? I'm all right. Enjoyed that? Yeah. Been, Been camping. camping. Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah, I didn't really. I was a bit uncomfortable. It was a bit cold, a bit blurry. I fing hate camping. I'm giving up. I've had enough of it. No, uh, it's good, wasn't it? Nice and evening. Yeah. Beautiful. Nathan has converted to camping in tents. Loves it. He's like a changed man this morning. Wouldn't you? Yeah, I was up at five, buzzing, running around like a lunatic. Only downside is, and it would have happened in a tent or a tarp, is I think I might have pulled a muscle in my back. Getting out. Yeah. So I'm going to go home, have a bath, put some salts in it, some bubble bath, get a scented candle going, read a book. What's that, Mills and Boons you're going to read? <laughs> yes, mate. Yeah, love a good Mills and Boon in the bath. <clears throat> might drink a glass of wine and frig myself off. <laughs> well... Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I was warm in my new sleeping bag. The job's worth did all it was on its job. It did fall over, but then yours fell over, so. But mine didn't nearly burn me to death. Just because you didn't have it on. Imagine if it had fallen over if it was on. But it didn't if, happen, did it? Yeah, but that doesn't mean mine only fell over because it was on. But they both fell over. No, but it's unstable not ground. Not the fact that it fell over, it's the fact that everything caught light and it was a raging inferno. <laughs> he it's just on. hates jet boils. Miserable jet boiled. I never say, say them, send him anything. <laughs> well, anyway, on that note, it's been wonderful uh, to be out again, and it's been great to share it with you all. Now it's home for bacon sandwiches, isn't it? Bacon sarnies, bruv. Slap with some skin, dude. <laughs> Cold, isn't it? Now I've pulled my back. <laughs> River Dutch. Peace. Cheese. <laughs>